Alright, welcome back to the Breath of the Wild Let's Play. So we're back here, and our destination is that town right there. <laughs> Seems simple enough. Uh, we could probably just travel there on foot and by flight. Although, one thing I am curious about is the fact that... There's like... No... Never mind, there's a... Guess I, I was wrong. There was a... Uh... Wait, oops. Hold on. Oh no, is this the town I'm talking about? And I'm guessing that's the, uh... Oh, wait a minute, that already has a stamp. What am I saying? Oh, god damn it, okay. And it's both... Okay, let's just get delete that pin. Yeah, so we know that there's a... A thing there. Oh, cool, that's a close one. Alright, I guess the next step is to just get over there. So yeah, that town doesn't seem like it's bad, right? Ooh, joy, okay. I have enough stamina to sustain my flight. I'm gonna run out of stamina eventually, aren't I? Okay, hopefully, as long as we can make it across there, I think we should be fine on foot. Though it's a little bit, like, foggy from my point of view, so it's a little bit hard to see anything. Alright, we made it. There are enemies that are fighting against, I think, villagers. Yes, I know there's a shrine nearby. Okay. Spoko's stuff are gonna have to deal with them as well. Right, that's fine. I say I'll save you guys. You're welcome. Oh wait, no, there's still there's this asshole. Alright. Is there two of you? I could have sworn that I saw two of you. Hello, Nat. What is send those things a packing? You could use this, right? Oh, thanks. Ooh. Grant's low uh electricity resistance. A special grunt spice covers up the scent of the meat, allows to its flavor to shine. Mm. So resist electricity. All right, hardy truffles. Ooh, hardy. Oh, there's hardy hardy truffles here. Cool. I don't want book club, but oh well. I can't believe we're alive. Oh, you make it. Wait a minute. Didn't we meet you two before? Weren't you like way far in like, on a forest or something? Remind your own business hunting for truffles, and then wham, monsters came out of nowhere. I blame my sister, she's the one who- Oh, wow. You, you two are at it again, huh? Uh, oh, wow, okay. Uh, I guess it's my job to find more hardy truffles so that I could- Oh, enemies are gonna kill you. I will kill you. Actually, no, fuck it. Let's just go all in. Yeah, two strikes is good enough to kill you guys. Is there also another enemy? I just I saw one, but I guess point my playing trees. Nope, never mind, there is definitely one. That's an iron tree. Travel sword's weak, so I guess that's a good item to hold, I guess. Fuck, super armor, okay. I gotcha. There's two of you. Okay, I gotta be careful now. There's no better weapon, but I might as well get rid of these useless weapons to have some use! Ooh, that's been attacked. That's dangerous. to use our hoe like that too. Bring it on, asshole. <clears throat> Ow, fuck. There we go. Huh, hoes are dangerous. Never trust a hoe. Oh, there's another. Is he surrendering or no he's just sleeping, never mind. <laughs> wakey wakey! Acorn. It's a Hylian shroom. Using a mob to fight? Get a real weapon, noob. <laughs> I 
and then I just steal this mob too, why not? Okay, uh... I gotta get to the village, not fuck these guys, these guys don't give me... I'm about to die too- oh wait, what's that? It's a ship, whatever, okay. Uh, close to the village, hurry up, save them. Yeah, it's getting dark out here, so it's dangerous. They're not gonna- surely they won't invade a village now, will they? I doubt it, but, yeah, okay. Welcome to Hateno Village. Yay. Who are you? Who, who are you? I demand answers. If you're up this late, you're probably not good. Uh, I'm a traveler. Aww. Hmm? You certainly do appear to be a, a Hylian, like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folks, so sorry to get you all work up. You're free to go. We're just the waypoint of your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. You, well, you can get most things if you need a general store and, and okay. Yeah, let's, we're almost dying, so let's just sleep it off into, until the morning at least. Is this an inn? Oh, I think it just shows armor shop. Ooh, dye shop, well, that's interesting. All right, so the inn is at the far corner. And I'm pretty sure there's a, yeah, there is, so I should probably take that dungeon so I could have a fast travel way to this area. I want to know what kind of armor I can get from this new town. And you are? Oh, did I met you before? No, I've never, never never seen your face before. I don't care for horsey packs. That's all I've got to offer, so hold on to it well. The secret to holding your horse, by the way, is to approach them quietly from behind and then hop on them quick. Once around, give them a little pet and then... Okay. Got it! That's what I've been doing anyways, but... Nice to be have the reinformation. How far is... Doesn't look like it's that far. Actually, this place looks like it's a pretty big, big village. So maybe our next destination is that windmill. Alright, so this is the end they're talking about? Welcome. Wow, you're awake at this late at night. You deserve a medal, lady. The other end I've been to, the fucking workers were sleeping. Uh, Tunpu and... Forty. Yeah, soft bed. Forty rupees, I could easily spend that. Morning, of course, as always. My bright shining Uri, and I only have four hours of sleep despite sleeping on a soft bed. Uh, that's fine. <sighs> One more piece of heart should help me. Yay. Good morning. You look real rested. Come back soon again. Yay. Okay. Not sure if that's really when a heart container is worth 20 more extra rupees, but. Oh, it's nice to have it. Hey there, brother. Brother? I can recognize a fellow traveler a country mile away. You share a unique bond with me. <laughs> I do have a very strange garb on, so. I recently returned from both Goron City and Gerudo Town. Oh my god, so you've been far away before. Mm. You interested in. Any other towns? Yeah. You got a taste for adventures. You don't want to miss out Zora's domain in Rito Village. The road to Zora's domain is dangerous, though, and Rito Village is very is way far away. Neither are easy places to get to. Uh, let's try Gerudo Town. West of Hateno, way to the Gerudo mm. Desert. Right when I was about to make my way to the Gerudo Town, the gatekeeper drove me off. Wasn't until later that I heard they only let women in there. So what, I'm gonna have to dress in as a woman or something? Now, I had known that beforehand, I wouldn't have trekked all the way across the stinking wasteland of a desert. But now I'm wondering if I could have actually gone in there if I'd fooled them into thinking I belonged. So I could pretend I'm a woman. I already look, I look pretty damn feminine enough, so... I think that's good, right? Goron City is way north of Hateno Village, out of the Elden Bridge, or Elden Region. So hot, though, it burns me just thinking about it. I had to turn back. I didn't actually make it all the way to Goron City. So I'm guessing I need to, like, cook up something cold in order to make sure I survive the sustains of Goron City, huh? Alright. Okay, this is a fancy inn. It's probably better than the one that's in Kakariko Village, honestly. Uh, before we do anything, let's actually just search around the town to see what's up. Maybe there's something cool. This is a nice town that I don't think I was ever mentioned in any Zelda game before. 
This looks like a regular village, but just with a different name. Kakariko Village has definitely appeared in previous Zelda games before. So... Yeah. What's this? <laughs> Welcome, if you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Who do you do? Ready to die, die. Die an item, of course, and kill such a short day. Uh, sure, this looks like it's almost like a green tunic. So let's try changing that to an actual green one. Now, go wait there. I'll be just there just a minute, okay? It's only 20 rupees as well, so... Dye all clothes you're wearing at once. Alright, choose the dye color. Or go ahead and change the costume. I think I'm fine with the costume I have right now, so let's choose a color. Wow. <laughs> this doesn't look like it's a usual... Okay, so... It changes all the colors. I'll be green so that I could blend in with the, uh... Choose five ingredients you'd like to use for your dye. Or do I have plenty of frogs? <laughs> Not the Lizafoss tail. I guess the Hyrule herb. There we go. Okay, then that'll be 20 rupees. So I'll need 20 rupees and some sort of materials. Hold my br Am I gonna be completely sprayed or what? What does this look like? <gasps> <laughs> oh, that's... that's smelly. But hey, at least I now got... somewhat of a green tunic. <laughs> you look dashing, you find any other palatable? Okay. Of course, I can't customize them individually. You have to, like, wear them all and then I get, like, a certain color. That's interesting. Of course, now I don't think I have enough for, like... An armor shop or anything. Is this an armor shop or a general store? Armor shop? That's a general store, okay. I don't know what kind of armor they sell first off. This is the same armor I had, right? And this is also oh, wait, hold on. What is this? Soldier's grease, so they look weaker than mines. I don't think I really need those. Warm doubtlet. Cold resistant. Okay, so I could wear this so that. I'm no longer cold, right? Although it's only one, so I guess that finally permanently fixes the uh, the yeah <laughs> me having to always eat hot food every time. Oh no, I still have some, so I, was like, I should probably just keep them just in case. I don't think I need them necessarily right now. So arrows, fire arrows. Bomb arrows. Oh, those are bomb arrows, not fire arrows. But, oh, Jesus Christ, they have a lot of them. Alright, let me just buy. Oh. I can't buy all of them, because, yeah. I guess oh. I'll just sell some of my stuff beforehand. Uh, screws. Ah. Yeah, I don't have... Let's just so A8. A8 is a good number. Oh. What else do I need? Do not need, I mean... White shoe. I haven't used any of these white shoes, so here, have five of them. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't spend all my money. It feels like saving is like very important in this game, so it's like, don't spend all in one place, you know? Oh, I, yeah, uh -huh. I have her back at least, so. So that for 60. Whoa. And I could have I had Opal. Here it is. So this will give me 180, right? Yep. Uh -huh. That's good enough to buy fair, uh, not fairies, uh, arrows. I think I'm just gonna get these types of arrows for now. Uh, can I, wait a minute, can I buy? Oh, there we go. Ooh. 60. <laughs> we only have three arrows? Real? Oh, five arrows. Huh. I'm not gonna buy the bombers because I feel like those are too expensive. What's upstairs? Is there another store upstairs or is... No, it's just some dude that's sleeping. Okay. God, there's a lot of NPC characters here. I was, oh. I want to know if there's like gonna be like recurring characters from previous Zelda games. Oh, what I came to Ooh. buy. Okay. All right, so I guess that's it. This just only sells arrows. That kind of sucks, but oh well. Uh, let's go through the dungeon finally. Uh, where's the dungeon area again? Wow, these are colorful houses. <laughs> oh, that's easy. <laughs> We're nearby! Yay! Welcome to the Magna, Sh Magna Shrine. Did you do that? Okay. 
So yeah, this one shrine, and then I'll take a real quick break, I guess. And then, we can finally, finally, get to the main story. Like, holy shit. We're actually progressing to the story for once. After three hours. Hot diggity damn, okay. Whew. Alright, what kind of... Maya Magna apparent tense. Okay, so... That's the doorway that I need to go... Ooh. That's the doorway I need to go to in order to open up. Oh, looks like another one of those Ruber contraptions. What is that? Hmm. I could get up there. Alright then. What kind of puzzle is this? What exactly does this thing do? Oh. Okay, there's a... Ball? Examine? Oh yeah, okay, I see. Oh, it's like it's like Tw Twilight Princess and... Oh, I see, okay. And I have to use the motion control, so I'm guessing if I use the pro controller, I don't have to do this. Because I'm trying to move like other areas and that doesn't seem to be possible. Shit, 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 shit. Is it gonna respawn? Yeah, it's gonna respawn, okay, so. I have to be very careful. Because this motion, the motion controls here, I feel is really pretty sensitive. Okay, oh no, no, mm. I think, okay. Yeah, it's very sensitive indeed. Get, on, get down there. All the way down. There we go. All the way to the left. <sighs> careful, 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 careful. Alright, that's, that's safe, I guess. Slow and steady. No, not there, not there, not there, not there, not there, not there. Over there. <sighs> Fuck. I'm guessing if I, like move on to that treasure I'll get something but like I do I really want to risk that okay. it's not really much of a puzzle but more like a, a way to shoehorn motion controls honestly whatever I think I'll be fine no 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 this one's dangerous because there's like a big cliffside forward of us Okay, at least there's nothing there, so... Alright. What's that treasure do? I think I just had to, like, get in there instead. Alright. I'm gonna have to- oh shit, okay. I think I'm gonna have to, like, roll it down all the way. But then make sure, like, I lift it just in time to... Oh god, this is scary. This is very scary. Okay. Roll down. And then lift... Ugh, it's too... I'm being too hesitant. Come on. No! 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 I was so close! Oh, fuck the motion controls in this one! I hate this... I hate this puzzle. It's not really much of a puzzle, it's more like just... Ugh, okay, no, no. Uh, oh, oh my god, I could have recovered that too. Oh, no, fuck this, I have a better idea. <laughs> Let's just do this instead. <laughs> I think I'm breaking the game here by doing this, but whatever. I am not putting up with motion controls. <sighs> Probably better to do this anyway, so... Shit, you know what, fuck it. I think this is bad. Mm. Let's just cancel it. You know what? Better idea. Let's see here. Let's have it so that... Because that place is accessible, right? So let's have it so that I can actually get over there. Wait a minute, I can't get over there! I think. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I could climb up or something, but... It's not. I have a better idea, actually. 
instead of the stupid motion controls. Yeah, better idea. I just, because it seems like it stays in place no matter where you go. So like, just have it like a little bit of a slant. Jump. I think I can make it. I made it. Okay, awesome. Now this is a good place to get treasure chest, and it looks like I could use my magnetism in order to grab that ball anyway. So I'll just use that. Wait, unless I have to. Right, whatever. Ferric bow. Yay. Okay. Let me just see, just in case. If I use my magnetism to carry that ball. I don't think I can, can I? Shit, I can't. Okay. So... Fuck. I lost my heart as well, so... Fuck, I have to resort to motion controls then, huh? Damn it. Okay, this is gonna be one annoying fucking shrine to deal with. Alright then. And I lost my heart as well. Oh well. <sighs> Alright then. Let's try this again. Yeah, I'm using the sticks right now. There's literally no way to like move this otherwise. Fuck off. Fuck it. You know what? I'm doing this upside down method again. Uh, and then I will need to make it upside down this way. Alright, how about now? Fuck, are you serious? Sorry, more momentum, more momentum. A little bit more to the side. Yeah, cause fuck the, fuck the cage, I'm just gonna do this my way here. Oh, that might be too high, but yeah, we did it! Yeah, screw the puzzle aspect, let's just cheat our way there. Yay! Jesus Christ, fuck that. At least I was able to find like a cheating way to just finish the puzzle. So yeah, there's always that. Just make sure your Wii U gamepad's upside down and then, yeah. Veda ving, veda you got you got that. <laughs> uh, it's cheating, I know, but I don't care. <laughs> I think that deserves a break, right? Mm. Okay, cool. Oh, just one more left. And I could increase either my stamina or my heart. I'm gonna increase my stamina. Like, there are times where I'm worried about my stamina. So I should do that. I, I want to get to at least, like, two stamina bars before I upgrade any more of my heart, so... Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry about my chewing, but I'm really hungry. It it's fine, though, because I'm gonna take a quick break and have a... Breakfast time, I guess. Not breakfast time, lunch time. So we'll be right back with the next episode of Legends of the Breath of the Wild. Stay tuned.